All right, one more from this cross wrist. And again, um, there's a lot of different things we can do. We can, you know, just some basic. We can pass that to our high crotch, pass it to a double, you know, single. We come in here, fireman's. Okay. Um, one thing, so I mentioned, we can either be forward in the shoulder, okay? Sometimes we get shoulder to shoulder here. That's where we're, you know, I like to grab my underhook. Or forward to forehead. I showed a couple different things from when they're posting on you, and there's other things you can do from there too. Like he's po posting on me here. You know, we got post side crotches. Um, but I gave you a couple options from when they're kind of keeping you away with that cross wrist shut and then pulling off my two and one. The other thing we'll do at times is grab your wrist. Okay. So he's grabbed my wrist here. Now, um, I'm going to show you like a, a pretty a crafty little snap down from here, but something else that we can also do here is I can release, turn my, let go of, uh, I'm gonna turn my palm down, let go of his wrist, and then go to drag, chase his body, or we can go to the legs too. He's on my wrist here, and I can go in here, drag, you know, here, here, single, fireman's. So just keep that in mind, you guys are grabbing his wrist, we can go drag the other side, but again, I'm gonna show, uh, pretty cool snap down from here. What I'm gonna do here with forward to forehead, I got my cross wrist, he's grabbing my wrist. I'm going to at the same time, I'm gonna pull his wrist down and notice what direction it starts taking. It starts getting him bent over the waist, bringing his head down. But at the same time I'm pulling that wrist down, I'm gonna let go of his elbow, I'm clubbing on the back of his neck and the hand that's on his wrist, I'm gonna let go of his wrist and grab his chin. So I'm here, okay. Now, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm getting rid of the space there, so I'm kind of throwing my chest over top of his, uh, over top of his head. It's kind of like, I don't know if you guys, anyone's ever seen, but, you know, doing this kind of thing. Same type of movement. I'm throwing my chest over top of his head. Keep my legs back, of course. But again, I'm wearing this cross wrist. Here, I'm forward four. He's grabbing my wrist. I'm going to pull down. Same time. As I'm pulling him down, hand on the elbow is going to release, club the back of his neck, and the hand that's on his wrist is going to go to his chin. So I'm here. Okay, now I'm, I'm holding his head like a football. Okay, my chest is on the back of his neck here. I'm not too close. We've got my legs. Legs are back here. My elbows are pinched. And I got his head trapped, just like this, holding like a football. Everything's tight. Okay, and I'm actually going to choke the guy for a little bit. I'm going to choke him, choke him, and then I can transition. Um, from here, go to the back of the arm, and there's, you can finish however you want. Um, but again, here, pull, club, okay, hand on the wrist is going to his chin. Right here. Okay, after I choke him a little bit here, I can go here, you know, we can pick him here, you know, we can go cross ankle. Um, one thing I like doing, a lot of times when we get front hand locks in our feet, we just try to pull down first. What I like doing, is like to push your guy. And the reason is, um, you know, freestyle, we're near the edge. We can get a nice little push out there. Folk style, we're not gonna get a push out, but that guy's not gonna just like push him off the mat. So I start pushing on that guy, okay, and push on him, he starts pushing back into me. Then I'm gonna snap his face to the mat and we can hit that corner. Okay, so again, cross wrist here, grab his wrist, grab his elbow, we're forward to forehead, he's grabbing my wrist, which is one of the things they do to try to slow you down here. Pull that wrist, pull him down, same time, hand on the elbow is going to release the club. This hand is going to his chin, right here. Now, this position again, I'm, elbows are pinched, his head's trapped underneath me here, and I'm, I'm going to choke him a little bit here, give him a little squeeze. Then I'm going to go from the hands on the back of his neck to the back of his armpit. Now, again, we got all kinds of different finishes, but one thing I do like doing, like I mentioned, is I'm going to snap him through the mat and just get like a, just run the corner on him. But what I like doing instead of just pulling him down or right, right away, I'll push him first. Now when I push him here, I'm keeping my, my legs back, and my, um, but I'm, I'm gonna start driving here. Really start driving. He starts pushing back in me. Yeah. So instead of just pull, trying to pull him down first, I'm gonna pressure him a little bit. Once he starts pressuring back, it makes the snap down better. Just gonna cross wrist here. 
clear. Hips are back again. This hand on top of his head is going to transition the back of his arm. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Okay. 